Hey guys, hope you're going well and whatnot and stuff like that. If you guys saw my last video at St. Albans Skate Park, you would have known that uh, we had a little bit of an incident. Ended up with a bit of a snap boy here on the April, which wasn't the worst thing really because it's like it gave me like an opportunity one to try a new deck because I've had this deck for about six months now. It was actually the first deck I focused. Someone got a little bit grumpy. Not really too sure who that was, but like I said, I've been holding on to this deck for about four months now, and that deck is a toy machine. Nice big bright yellow boy. As per toy machine, the graphics are pretty like pretty sick. They really are known for their graphics, in my opinion. Something a bit different for me, also being toy machine. But this is an 8.25 with a wheelbase of 31.98, a length of 31.98, and a wheelbase a wheelbase of 14.25. Really in my wheelhouse, pretty stock standard, just like a pretty stock standard like shape, uh, like size and dimensions just for for me personally, and especially for 8.25 in my opinion. And so it's got probably like a good medium, good medium concave across it with the kicks probably being about like a medium on the steepness level as well. Like, yeah, probably a true medium in my opinion. You got a few fingers of flat in there through the tail and the shape is like a little bit more pointed than I'm used to, especially through the tail. Tail is a bit more pointed there because yeah, you can see that there. Yeah, especially coming from the April there, which is like a quite nice rounded board. This is gonna be that little bit more pointed, which could be, could be good for me. I don't know. I haven't tried something new for like, what, four or five months now. So really excited to get onto this deck and like, yeah, try something new. The only downside really to it is that like it is China wood, which is like I've tried to find some BBS toy machine because toy machine are coming through BBS at the moment. But at the point of buying that deck and that was on sale as well, I got it for a good price. It was only China, which doesn't really matter. I have skated a toy machine in the past as well and that did snap fairly quick. But credits where credit's due, toy machine actually ended up coming to the, uh, coming to the game and actually sending a new deck out for me for free of charge. So that's really well appreciated and good customer service there. And as usual of late, I'm just gonna pair it with my Thunder Hollow Lights here. Really reliable truck. I like the light truck. It just makes things lighter for me. Older legs, I need all the help I can get. I'm just gonna keep my wheels and my bearings and everything the same. I'm just gonna swap it over so that like the jump and change in between decks isn't too much because yeah, I don't want to change it too much. And there's a little bit more life in these Richter wheels, even though that one there is a bit of a dirty boy and stuff like that. And there's still plenty of life left in there. Really got to work on more of a, a K grind, K grind groove. But I was almost tempted to like uh, change it over to these bad boys over here. Spitfire Formula 4 tablets. These are the 99As. Tablet shape is one of my favorite shape wheels. There's no denying it, especially in this like the 52 mils, I think it's like, out of the packet, these would be amazing, an amazing wheel. I have heard that the 99A actually slides better than the 101A. If you have found this, like make sure to leave a comment down and below. Just, and just like drop a comment in down below just saying hi and stuff like that. I really appreciate all the comments and stuff and it's, it's uh, yeah, it's really nice. But enough like talking and stuff like that. This deck, nice and bright, nice and yellow. I'm gonna get this set up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get it set up and whatnot like that. Have it like all nice and pretty and then probably head out, have a skate. You can, uh, I'm gonna tack on the skate footage after this. And then if I feel like it, I'll put my first, my impressions after it as well. So hopefully we got talking, skating, impressions, and hopefully everyone's a bit happy. So I'll see you guys at the skate park. Thought you'd be more confident, girl, I almost let go The 
Baby, you in my thoughts again He turned here, you coming in Boom, boom with the love again This time I won't fall for you No, 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 no So that was that, a little session down at my local skate park. Just thought I'd ease into things, so it was nothing really special there. Though I did actually learn a viral heel flip off camera, and yeah, I was pretty pleased. I actually did learn, um, what is it, front side disasters on the little taco there. So there's some good things and stuff like that to take away from that session. But I really just wanted to see how the deck responded to like the way I skate and getting the feel for it and stuff like that, which, yeah, every deck takes that little bit of time getting used to, and it definitely needs that little bit of teething issues. But overall, I felt like I did have a little, I did have a good session. I did the little stair set there. Like that took me a little bit of a while because I kept forgetting to pop and stuff like that. And I did the curb, like trying to like kick flip no, front nose the curb and stuff like that and um, lip slide it and stuff. A little bit silly things, but curbs are fun, especially when you get to my age. And so, but the board did actually help, help there. The board held up pretty well, no cracking, no issues and stuff like that. One of the things I do really need to get used to is the concave. The concave is like medium to full, especially across the board, which that doesn't really bother me. It just means I have to like really adjust the way I flick my kick flips. A lot of my kick flips when I was trying throughout the day really kept going out in front of me. That could be a combination of me leaning too far back as well. But you do get more connection and like more grip when you do do flip tricks and stuff like that with more of a concave board. And with the concave, the kicks are probably medium to high in my opinion, which for me, it's not really what I enjoy because it takes more effort for you to hit the, like the tail on the ground. And that's just something I have to remember, especially when I was doing my stair set or doing the stair set. It's something that I really forgot to do. So just remember to pop harder and everything will work nicely. But a little bit more effort and it's like coming from the April board which was a flat board like mellow mon uh, mellow concave and like mellow kicks as well it's just going to take time really but overall it was a fun little session like that I'm really keen to try and get out more and more at skating I'm not doing any sport this winter which I don't think I am I'm pretty sure I'm not doing any sport this winter so it gives me a freeze up a bit more time of uh playing up uh, playing Gives me a bit more time skating and stuff like that. Hopefully get out during the week and stuff like that. Hopefully we have a dry winter, which is probably not the best thing to say, but I wanna get some skating in. I wanna try and film some more of this YouTube stuff and like make some more videos though. At the moment, they're not really structured and a bit all over the shop and I apologize for that. But if you did do a like the video, make sure to hit on like that like button. Consider subscribing, leave a comment down below. Love seeing your comments and stuff like that. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.